All right, we are here at Challenge Denmark, and our champion of the inaugural event, Michelle Vesterby, the crowned queen of Denmark. Michelle, what did it feel like to win in your hometown? That's just an amazing feeling. I'm super happy right now, and yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless for once in my no life. No way. No way, I'm actually not. But I'm really happy about winning here. That means something special to me for sure. Now, some of the guys are telling me that they know you as a Danish diesel because you have one speed, mm -hmm. that you are a great Ironman athlete, but shorter distances you're not great at. You don't, you don't run that fast. Well, when I saw you out there, you looked different than I've seen you before as a runner. You look like a runner. Do you feel Do you feel that? Do you feel you're more of a runner than you've ever been? I definitely feel like a runner now. So I'm just like, when people ask me, what is your strongest? And you always have to say the swim or the bike. I'm just like, no, I'm actually all around now. I think my running has come so good together right now. So I will put the bike and be competitive on the run too. I actually catched a girl on the run today. So that was an amazing feeling. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. right. You yeah. did, right? I did, yeah. And now where did you catch her? I catched her after around 7K, I think. What? And she had a, what, a minute and a half, two minutes off the bike? More than two oh, was minutes. It, was it over two minutes? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, so it all, all of a sudden you have a weapon called your run. Exactly. So that's awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm really happy about that too. And, you know, winning a race. You've won you know, Ironman Lanzarote. You were eighth in Kona. But winning in your hometown and winning... Danish conditions. You know, it, was, it was sunny, it was cloudy, it was rainy. Mm. It sort of had it all. Yeah, it had it all. So it was typical Danish weather. When it's best. <laughs> Talk about what the red... Now, this leads into Ironman Frankfurt. Is that next? Yeah, so I have Ironman Frankfurt in, next, in three weeks where I have to get my last Kona points because I haven't a, done a long-distance race this year. So I'm all excited to do that, you know, because as you just said, half-distance is really too short for me. I don't. I only have that one speed, so I could easily have done 90K more on the bike in the same speed. I actually did my Ironman speed when I was biking today, so I need a little bit longer to get get started so I cannot wait to to do Frankfurt. What has Luke Van Leer have brought to the table for you as a coach? Luke is so professional in his w way of working you know he's really going into the principle I cannot ask him to change anything because then he just gets stressed because he has a plan and I have to stick to the plan and I'm the first girl he's coaching so it's been a little bit difficult for him you know because I'm asking questions once in a while you know he's just like just do what I'm telling you to do and look we are going the right direction, so. Love it. Yeah. Michelle, congratulations. The everyone. queen of Denmark again. Here at Challenge Denmark with our queen, Yay. Michelle Vesterby. <laughs> Thank you very much.